uh, First Corinthians chapter two. You you earlier were mentioning, um, you know how there's there's the stuff going on in Afghanistan. Um, there's the COVID stuff, which which I did notice that, um, you know, every time my, my wife watches the news and every once in a while I'll catch it. Every single time, at the very beginning, you know, 135,000 people a day are being infected. So it's it's right off the top, right at the very beginning. You're hearing this stuff every day, and so um, I, I I do understand why people are feel, fearful of it. And if people don't um, have Christ. I understand even more why they're they're fearful of it because um, people can only um, live in the flesh, and so someone who doesn't have Christ really is just living uh, for this world. Um, but when you 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 know you had brought those things up, all all the things of the world going on, um, it kind of reminded me that the believer needs to be the one that doesn't get caught up in what does Paul call it meaningless genealogies yep. and just. You know, not not junk talk, but you know, um, if if you're a believer, you shouldn't be preaching politics. If you're a believer, you shouldn't be preaching either vaccination or no vaccination. If you're a believer, you shouldn't be preaching conspiracy theories. Preach Christ and Him crucified, Amen. right? So, let's look at First Corinthians two, um, starting in verse one. Uh, Paul writes. And when I came to you, brethren, I did not come with superiority of speech or of wisdom, proclaiming to you the testimony of God. For I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And then verse three says, I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my message and my preaching were not in persuasive words of wisdom, but in demonstra demonstration of of the spirit and of power so that your faith would not rest on the wisdom of men, but on the power of God. And how many times do you hear about, about some preacher, some um, Johnny come lately preacher that looks hip, sounds hip, um, you know, preach, you know, preaches a, a great message. It really resonates with people. This guy's a great speaker. He's very, you know, he's very, uh, he's got charisma, all this kind of stuff. And here Paul says, and my message and my preaching were not in persuasive words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power, so that your faith would not rest on the wisdom of men, but on the power of God. When he says um, demonstration of the spirit and power, it means that there was power in his words. He's preaching, he's preaching Christ. He's preaching Christ crucified. And what's the power? The power is the Holy Spirit transforming hearts that are listening to that message. So... Yes, and we see in, in verse 5, that your faith should not be in wisdom of man, but in the power of God. For in verse 2 again, for I determine not to know anything among you except Christ him, Christ and him crucified. Mm -hmm. What he preaching is Christ crucified. That is what we see in Romans chapter 1, verse 16 and 17. I am not ashamed for the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ we see it. Because of that, in the gospel, there is a power. In gospel, there is power. For that power, he is not ashamed to preach. That's the only preaching about Christ crucified. And then in verse 3, we see again, I was with you in weakness, in fear, and in much trembling, he said. And my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive word of human wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Whatever he preaching is no human wisdom. Mm -hmm. In this passage, we have to think about, and sometimes uh, some preacher, when they are preaching, they just, they're trying to give uh, how the wisdom, and like this, in now that we see, that's what Paul, he mentioned on, in this verse four. I am not persuasive word, persuade, their word is very important. Some preacher, they're trying to persuade people. And then we see in verse again in demonstration of the spirit and of power, the way he preaching. Yeah, I really like the was the verse uh, verse two. 
Paul says that he determined not to know anything among you except Jesus Christ and Christ crucified. Like, I don't care about anything else. I don't care who's president. I don't care who's governor. You know, I, I don't even know. I don't even know who Congress is. All I care is about Jesus Christ and Christ crucified. And I just think that's so awesome.